Okay, so Michael and I have a ball game, but before we go, we are going to fix this toilet. And I wanted to show you guys um, really quickly how we go about replacing the fill valve. Um, simple, they come in a kit, just like this. A lot of different brands, this is the particular one that we got. I'm just gonna show you a couple of tricks to make this happen real quick and efficient. First of all, you gotta shut off your water down here. Okay, make sure you turn it all the way until it's off. All right, but before I start taking the plumbing apart, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this water out. The best way to do it is to flush it once, hold it down until all the water goes out, at least as much as possible. I've already taken this flap off. Then you see there's some water left, and you can just push it into there and just to fill up the toilet. You wanna to get this as much out as possible. And then when you can no longer get it out like this, just take a, a, a a rag, soak up the water. All right, it won't take long at all. Just soak. You can use paper towels; are probably faster. And then you can take the water and the rag and just squeeze it out. It'll just take a second. So I'm gonna spend about a minute and a half doing this, and then uh, we'll come back. Okay, that's the last of it. It's bone dry now. So when I take it apart, I'm gonna get water all over the place. Wouldn't be the end of the world, but an extra minute's worth of work and you don't have to clean it all up. I still have the rag here just to wipe up stuff. Now when I take this apart, like I said, this is off. This should just be hand tightened. So I'm gonna unscrew the water line. All right, and I've got this bucket here because there will be a little bit of water in the line. All right. Now I've got to take the fill valve out. So you just unscrew this. See there's a large nut on the bottom. And then this will just pull right out. It just comes right out. All right. You want to save your parts for now just in case. Sometimes you need an extra nut or something in case the one that you bought broke. Or, all right, you got your tube just in case you need that. <clears throat> to replace the new one, it's got this washer, this rubber washer. Okay, you're going to just insert it back into the hole. You also want to make sure, this is really important, that this is clean. If you get any kind of grit, or any little plastic pieces or anything up in here, this will leak. So you want to get a nice dry seal when you put it in. Alright. We'll worry about cutting that later. And now, I'm going to take the nut that they provide, and I'll screw it on. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and hand tighten that. That's not going to leak. All right. Now I can go ahead and put my water line on. Again, this hand tightening. You could use a wrench if your hands aren't strong enough to get a good seal, but you should be fine. Hands are like pliers, boy. <laughs> All right. So now you've got, depending on the brand you have, ours has this little clip. Fits right here, and then we're just gonna put the tube. Now you see the tube is too long, so you got a pair of scissors. Just gonna go ahead and cut it. And I'll be able to insert this. Right over the top. Okay. All right, now I'll stick this in. You don't want this to kink. You want a nice little, anybody that's familiar with plumbing knows you want a nice, we call that a sweep. So the water, there's no restriction to the water. If it's too long, it'll kink. If it's too short, it won't work either. So that's perfect. Now the last part, we took this old, because the kit comes with an extra um, stop. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this in here.
my hat in your way. Okay, now I got the chain. You don't want it too tight because if it's too tight, what will happen is it will, let's see how this sucker goes. If it's too tight, it will um, lift up on this and you don't want, you want it to, uh, you want it to pull, and I can adjust this, but for now, just to show you how it works. So now when I go ahead and Just checking for water here. In case that's heavy and bone dry. So we're good. That's it. And they just follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to um, adjust it. Alright, for your water line and stuff. Really simple. There you go. Hope it helps.